Hi, I'm Julie Comstock with Cosmo Cricut, and today I'm going to show you how to make a photo transfer onto our new creative canvases. These are really fun shaped canvases, and what's cool about them is it's a gessoed canvas for painting on one side, and then it's a smooth board for collage or mixed Hard media. Board, right? Yeah, like yeah, it's totally smooth though. On the other side, and this is our six inch, six inch hexagon. There's also triangles and hearts and tags. They're really fun. So today what we're going to do is we're going to transfer a photo that we've made just a laser print of onto the canvas so that we can still see the canvas coming through and we're going to get kind of this artsy effect like in these ones here. Okay, so we're using Liquitex Medium. I am not paid or endorsed by Liquitex at all. I just really like their product. It uh, is a really nice glue um, because it's matte and it dries totally tack free. Gives you a really great result. I use it for all my collaging stuff. And what I'm doing is I'm putting a really good layer of the glue across the whole canvas and I want it to be really wet. I don't want any kind of partly dry areas or thin areas because when we press our glue into the photo, only the wet areas are gonna pick up the toner. I say gonna, I need to say my words more clearly. It's my Utah accent. All right, so I've got this ready to go. And then take my printout and I'm going to push it into the glue. Okay. And now I'm going to flip it over and give it a good rubbing. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that this makes a reverse of what your print looks like. So if your subject is wearing words on a t-shirt or something, be sure that you make a mirror image of your printout so that then when you get it on your canvas, it's the right way. Okay, so we're going to rub this and then we're going to let it dry until it's completely dry. And once it's dry, we'll come back and show you how to finish it. Okay, we're back, and I think that our Liquitex is dry enough now that we can show you how to take the paper off of your photo transfer. So what we're gonna do is get it wet. Got a bowl of water right here. And as soon as you get it wet, you can see the photo starting to show through. And at this point, you can just start lifting the paper off. And lots of it didn't come up, so we're just going to keep going over it with our washcloth. If it feels like you are rubbing your photo off, like right here, that's just because my I didn't have enough wet glue in that corner for the image to stick. It's really common on the edges because it dries a bit as you're um, getting your canvas ready. That's why we work fast at, in the beginning. But you can really kind of scrub on this and get the paper to come off. And you just keep working till you get all of the paper rubbed away. It, because you're getting it wet, you can see the photo through it before you get all the paper off. That looks so great. I kind of like to go over with my finger. You can fill some of the spots where there's maybe still a thin layer and just kind of rub them up. Okay, we're getting close. Now I'm just going to pull off all the final bits 
and it gives you this really fun transfer. By the way, the image is actually slightly opaque, or I mean transparent. You can see some of the canvas coming through. I don't know if that shows up on camera, but um, something I want to try, and I haven't tried it yet, is to do a painted background and then transfer the image over the top because I think you can get like a duotone sort of effect where you have a color behind the black and white. There's my Jack, and we could add him to our set of canvases with his cousins. Thanks! <laughs> <laughs>